Hi YouTube, Michelle here. I have a short video I wanted to share. That's really the only way I like them short. So, um, but I had a dream. I wanted to share it. Um, I have this scripture that I like to read first in Matthew 24, verse 44. Um, it goes along with the dream that I had. So, here we go. Therefore be ye also ready, for in an hour, as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. In an hour when you think not, that's when Jesus comes. I'm going to say that again. In an hour when you think not, that's when Jesus comes. So I had been watching television. I had been watching the news like every, like most people over the last few days. Um, and a lot of crazy continues to be going on. And I was watching one... Um, situation in particular and it just really grieved me it grieved my spirit it's like not the Michelle that you see but my inner man Michelle was just grieved before the father I was just I just stopped and like bent over and I was just like father are we almost done here and I'm referring to those of us who are his true ones watching and waiting for him to come faithfully just longing and waiting to be with him in that place that he promised that he would take us to. And we know that when the Lord makes a promise, when the Lord uh, speaks in his word, we know that his word is true. His word is true. And if he made a promise to us that where he would go, that he's coming again to receive us, then that's what he's going to do. And, um, uh, we know we're living in those times, the end times. I know we're living in end times. And um, I'm pretty sure, you know, if you just look around, you know we're living in the end times. And if you don't know that, then I'd like to know what you think is going to happen in the end times. Because we're staring square at the end times right now. So, I, I just had that spontaneous cry come out of me, Lord. Are we almost done here? Is this almost over? I mean, is it really almost over? Are we really, really in the end times? Those of us who are waiting and longing almost painfully um, are looking for Jesus to come. And there's many. And um, so I was just that, just, that cry just came out of me. And I noticed that over a couple of days recently that that cry would just spontaneously come out again. God, are you almost here? Are you really almost here? And um, so that happened like several times. Then I would, that cry would come out of me. Father, are we almost done? Are you almost here? Please tell me. I want to know. I really want to know. And so I remember like two days ago, that cry came out of me again that question to the Lord and I was like are you hearing me do you hear me and I and I was going to bed and I did, prayed for as I do for you know the people I love and, and the world as the intercessor does and so I got in the bed and I remember saying good night to my God who I love and laying down on the pillow and turning over and right before I fell asleep, I remember hearing myself saying, Father, are we almost done? I remember this vividly. And it seemed like I knew at that moment that he was going to answer me. Because that cry was truly spontaneous. Father, are we almost done before I fell off to sleep? So I really honestly truly was not expecting a dream. I've had many dreams that I knew that were from the Lord and meant and but most of them are not. And it's been a while since I've had, you know, a consistent dreams from the Lord. I'd ha had another one recently, but this one was unexpected. And so uh, so I'm laying there in the bed and I'm asleep. I fall asleep. And I start dreaming. And I'm seeing the 747 come out of the sky. Coming down, coming down, wheels, wheels down. And just before it hits the the tarmac, the runway, I wake up. So I turn over, go back to sleep. 
See the 747 coming down, coming down, coming down. It came down about as low, low as a two-story house. Wheels down. This time I'm seeing it from the side and not from the front. I'm seeing it from the side coming down and I'm looking at it. And it comes down and I'm waiting for this plane to hit the runway because that's how low it was. And I wake up. I don't know how many times I dreamt that same dream repeatedly over and over throughout the whole night. All I know is that it was the last thing I remember before I woke up, seeing the plane coming down from different angles. I believe one time I was over the plane looking, watching it come down the side of the plane, the front of the plane, seeing that, that scenario play out again and again and again. And then I wake up. And so I woke up and I'm thinking, what was this dream about the plane? What is this plane? Truly, I did not have a clue when I woke up what this was about. So I said a short prayer and I said, God, what is this about the plane that I dreamt about? And immediately I knew that God had answered my cry. He had answered my question. Father, are we almost done? Are you almost here? And there's the plane coming out of the sky and he's showing me I mean, he's making it clear by have, me having the dream over and over and over again. He's making it clear to me that, yes, we are almost done. I am almost here. I mean, we were that close to the, it was that close to the plane actually hitting the runway and loading up the passengers, reloading the passengers, taking off in the sky. Holy flight from heaven, taking off in the sky. And that was so encouraging and exciting to me to know that God had literally answered my question. He was hearing me. He was hearing my heart cry. He was hearing my spirit cry out to him. Father, are we almost done? Is this really almost over? Or am I just kidding myself with all this? Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Well, like they used to say in days of old and until you know that you know that you know something. Well, I know that I know that I know that Jesus is coming. He's on the way and it's gonna be very soon. How much longer does it take to get from here to the runway? How much longer does it take to get from a two-story house level to the runway? And he was showing me in his timing that we are very close to that happening. So I just wanna give God glory and thanks for that and I am very excited for that. I just wanted to pray for those who don't necessarily, as um, the verse that I read in Matthew 24, verse 44, who don't necessarily feel ready, but want to be there. Um, I just wanted to pray for you so that you can have peace in this hour and position yourself to be ready for that moment. And repentance is the way to do that. So if you feel like you're one of those people, just pray with me. So Father God, I just thank you so much, Lord, for answering my prayer and letting me know that your coming is truly soon, that you will be here to take your church, to take your bride, the ready and the waiting ones, the longing and the waiting ones back with you as you promised that you would in your word. And so that's very exciting, Lord, and I just want to thank you for making that very clear to me. Father, I want to pray for those, the lukewarm, the lost, the backslidden, Lord Jesus, who are not ready if you should come this day, this moment, this hour. And Father, I just ask in Jesus' name that you would move upon their hearts by your spirit powerfully, Lord Jesus. You would deal with hearts in this time, in this moment, while there is time left, Lord Jesus, to convict people, to bring awakening of the hour that we're living in, to bring uh, conviction, God, to bring them to repentance, the lukewarm ones, Lord, bring them to repentance, God, and that, that they would have a revival, a personal revival with you, Lord Jesus, and they would be prepared and ready at the moment that the trumpet sounds. The lost, Lord Jesus, we know that they're not ready, and there are many, Father. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you would just so convict and arrest the attentions, Lord Jesus, of these ones, Lord Jesus, that and that many, many, many while there still is time, and the laborers work the harvest, God, that many, many, many would come out of their darkness, Lord Jesus, into the marvelous light, God. They would repent for their sins, Lord Jesus, and they would be ready in that day, in the moment, in the hour that the trumpet sounds. 
in Jesus' name. I pray for the backslidden ones, God, in Jesus' name, that, Father, you would deal with their hearts, Lord Jesus, that they would repent unto restoration, they would be restored back to you, for you said you are married to the backslider. Father, let them no longer ignore you, let them no longer ignore, Father, all of your warnings, God, to them, Lord Jesus. Let them humble themselves, God, and let them repent of their sins. Let all of these repent, Father, and come out of their dark places into the marvelous light and alongside the bride, Father, in that divine place of protection, that they would dwell there, Father, waiting with the grace that you have given the ones who are already waiting until the trumpet sounds, Father, that we would all be together in that soon coming day. I ask it these things in Jesus' holy, mighty name. I pray and I give you praise for it. Amen and amen. So bless you all. Jesus is coming. We're very close to that time now. Amen. <laughs>